jerk. You say I'm a no good jerk. And then I go to work. And you go berserk. Complain, complain, complain. You're always the same. You will never change. All you do is complain. Hey, Uncle Henry. Listen, man, this is the times we're living in. Interest rates up and the stock market's down. And you're going to get mugged if you go downtown. Well, I live back in the woods, you see. My woman and my kid and my dog and me. I got a shotgun rifle and a four-wheel drive. And a country boy can survive. A country boy can survive. Reagan girl was born in the wagon of a traveling show. Her mama used to dance for the money they throw. Grandpa do whatever he could. Reach a little gospel. <laughs> I can't do it. Press 4 for the previous message deleted. Message received at 3.46 a.m. Reagan girl was born in the wagon of a traveling show. Her mama used to dance for the money they throw. Grandpa do whatever he could. Preach a little gospel. Tell a couple bottle of Sam Jones good. News Radio 710. Just getting word of a crash involving a motorcycle and a vehicle fire on Highway 43 at Calvert Business Park Drive. Very slow going on westbound I-10. We've got an accident just past McDonald Road. Delays are backed up near Tillman's Corner. With Time Saver Traffic, I'm Lisa Bakke. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. It's Black Friday buildup at Lowe's. Get up to 50% off select major appliances. Plus, take an additional 10% off when you buy other select major appliances. Valid 11.6 through 12.4 cannot be combined with additional discounts. See Lowe's.com for details and qualifying items while supplies last. If you see traffic trouble, call the Acadian Windows Traffic Tip Line at pound 250, keyword total traffic when prompted. Acadian Windows, your hurricane protection specialists the uncle henry show weekday afternoons from five till seven you get a good look at the possum juggler <laughs> possum juggler. yeah that's a fella we got a good one back home he can juggle three live possums in the air at the same time whilst the fourth sits on his head and waves a little flag <laughs> Jane, can we watch the Possum Bay Parade from Mr. Drysdale's window? Wonderful town, wonderful people, places to go, things to see. My love is Mobile, that's my wonderful town. Beautiful homes, schools and churches, entertainment, places to shop. My heart's in Mobile. That's my wonderful town. Mobile, the center of transportation. Business and industry set the pace. Mobile's got the junior miss celebration. Home of Mardi Gras and senior ball game. Mobile is great to live in and work in. The climate's ideal for progress, you see. My love is Mobile. That's my wonderful
This is the Uncle Henry Show here on News Radio 710 WNTM. Thank you for listening to the Uncle Henry Show. And today is Friday. And it's also Possum Day on the Uncle Henry Show. Happy Possum Day! Happy Possum Day! Happy Possum Day! Yes, it's Possum Day! On the, on the Uncle Henry Show, Snake Trapper is here. Snake Trapper, say hello to the radio listener. Hello, radio listeners out there in Radio Land. Snake Trapper is here, even though he is an expert on snakes and the trapping of snakes and also the eating of snakes. He is also a guardian to possums. And Snake Trapper, first I want to thank you for being here to help me celebrate Possum Day. Well, Uncle Henry, I really appreciate you having me. Now, um, the reason I've asked Snake Trapper in to talk about possums is not because I, I, I have a complete lack of anything to say and I'm just grasping at straws, struggling to broadcast. No, it's a little bit different from that. Uh, Snake Trapper has been contacting me via voicemail over the last several months with a true sense of, of, of worry about the local possum population. You've called in worried because you've seen possums struck in the road and you're worried about the possum population uh yes sir Uncle henry i sure am uh in my commute uh down here to the radio station just today i witnessed uh three that was probably ran over through the night you so, saw three possums on your <laughs> way in uh yes sir and uh, i kind of give them a look because if there was some uh, young ones out there struggling i have been known to stop and collect them and uh, take them to a, a rehab center Oh, so so you were checking, and unfortunately, these three possums were slain. I, I probably didn't check as well as I should have because I was, uh, you know, trying to get here. On the way the, here, yes, yes. So I, I kind of uh, just give it a glance. Didn't see nothing, so I kept on going. All right, well, tell the listener. By the way, we have callers already, 251-479-2723. <laughs> should I get to the callers or should I... T- I, I, I want to go see who's here. <laughs> All right. Hello, caller. Hey, Henry. How y'all doing? Hey, Snake Trapper. Hey, hey, Steve. It is Possum Day. We are talking about possums today on the Uncle Henry Show. How you doing, Steve? I hear that. Oh, doing good, man. I'm doing good. I feel like I'm talking to Ellie Mae's dream guy. <laughs> Ellie Mae was one good-looking thing now. <laughs> I she about well yes yeah in the in the in the late in the early sixties yeah she was quite fetching, but uh, uh, yeah man uh, I was as as a youth before I realized how dangerous what I was doing, I used to catch many uh, deadly water moccasins and copperheads down in the creek behind you know the neighborhood back where I lived in Crestview, and there was quite quite a bit of them and I you know I just always felt like you you just you're not a southern boy if you're afraid to, you know, pin a snake's head down and pick him up live, you know, and then do something with him. <laughs> I don't know. We, we we most of the time we just, you know, got rid of them because we felt like that, you know, water moccasin or copperhead they were a menace being that close to houses and stuff. But, right. Uh, Good. Or either, you know, if we couldn't catch him, we'd call Mister Miller with his trusty twenty-two, and he'd come blast them for us and. You know, because, I mean, yeah, when you got a bunch of kids around, kids and venomous snakes don't really mix. Right. No, they, they really but, don't. But, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, copperhead is kind of an aggressive snake. Uh, if there are young snakes around, uh, it's young, uh, they will be very aggressive. Now, the uh, cottonmouth is a, is a pretty uh, docile snake. Uh, it, it doesn't look to harm you. Uh, it basically no. won't, wants you to just leave it alone. Uh, if you oh, yeah. if you get too close to it, it'll act kind of act like a rattlesnake. It'll start bumping its head, uh, its tail up against a old log, or rattling around in the leaves. Try to let you know it's there because they they mainly they want to be left alone. Uh, I wouldn't yeah, to give you that mouth too. Uh, yes, sir. They show you that because uh, uh, they know that uh, you know what they are. So, uh, like I said, oh, yeah. they, if, they, if they give you that mouth, that's a dead giveaway. Oh, now they will bite you if they if they showing you their mouth. Uh, they will definitely oh, yeah. uh, bite you. So uh, it's it's best uh, not to mess with them. Uh, but you know, you sound like you're a man that that knows how to handle them. And uh, you know, I've been handling them for a long time too. And uh, you just you just definitely do not want to get bit by one. No, you got to make sure you do not get bit by them. You grab a hold of one. If you if if you dumb enough like me to grab a hold of them, you you you, you want to definitely hold on tight. 
<laughs> yes, sir. You, know, you don't want to let that thing. You don't want to let that thing uh, wheel around on you and everything. But my suggestion is just leave it to the professionals like Mister Snake Trap. <laughs> and that's great advice. Now, Steve, uh, got other people waiting to talk. Do you? Do you have any? Uh, have you had any encounters with possums? Or I understand Snake Trap is a wealth of snake knowledge. Do you have any possum tale for us? Yeah, I had several possums by my old sign shop I used to have on Halls Mill Road. I had one that's foot was broken completely backwards, but he was making, he was he was doing okay, and I, he he would eat my cat's food, and I didn't mind him eating the cat's food because he was kind of disabled. But him and my cat, they they kind of got along pretty good, you know, and and uh, they just kind of ate in the bowl at the same time, and. Uh, he was a pretty cool guy, and there was other ones. They, they were all coming out of the woods there on Halls Mill Road uh, uh, years ago, and raccoons, too. Uh, yeah, the possum uh, is not an aggressive animal. Uh, it can uh, no. you know, it can play alongside just about any any type of critter, but uh, unfortunately you got some out there that will actually eat it, you know, like the uh, coyotes, uh, fox will, will give them a hard time. But uh, they're not aggressive uh, now. If uh, you come across one and he's scared, he will actually back off and do some nasty snarling at you. And uh, he oh, does yeah. have some wicked canines, probably about the size of a, a big dog. So if one did bite you, you'd be in trouble, but it's not likely they would. Oh, yeah. You don't get by, bit by any wild animal. I don't care if it's a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Old squirrel. That is, you know, that, that is so true. Yeah, you, we don't want uh, to be bit by really anything. You don't know where their mouth has been. <laughs> All right, I've got, up on the break, Steve, thank you for your phone call. Bye, fellas. Hey, great Take to care, hear Steve. from you. All right. We, we probably should have planned a three-hour possum <laughs> program, but we're going to squeeze in more possum talk and snake talk as we continue after the break with Snake Trapper here on the Uncle Henry Show. We're enjoying a possum day today. From the Dean McCrary Mazda Traffic Center. Just getting word of a crash involving a motorcycle and a vehicle fire on. All right, uh, let's look, Snake Trevor. Let's look on Facebook and see if anybody is watching on Facebook on a Friday. We'll see if you may have brought in uh, way more people than normal. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a good thing. Well, it would be, yes, you, I'm sure you're a big draw here on Facebook. Uh, let's see, I'm having trouble bringing it up on the desktop. Let me look directly on my phone just to see if we do have Facebook viewers for this uh, this possum show. I do not have my phone up for you folks out there in radio land because... Uh, well, they're not radio. This is Facebook land. Oh, okay. We're not on the radio right now. Yeah, my phone, I thought I had it on silent, but uh, it, it was... Uh, I couldn't hear it because of the earphones. And Uncle Henry told me. All right, now, see, I've, here we are. We've got, let's see, Brent Amaker, the illustrator, is watching. Hello, Brent. Rick Henry is Rick, watching. Rick, jo Rick. George David Johns Johnson. That dadgum do George David Johnson. He, uh, he is truly ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have to fix the, the desktop. I cannot see what I want to see up there. So uh, coming up in the, in subsequent segments, we will get to possum facts. We will find out why you like them, why you care about them. We'll get into all that kind of stuff. H how was the traffic coming here? I'm never on the road right before 5 o'clock. How was it? Uh, it probably wasn't as bad coming from the west uh, because you got the sun at your back. But, man, I imagine headed uh, east at that time would probably really be uh, hectic for an old man like me, Uncle Henry. So it was... Uh, <laughs> Well, it we're at a time of year also where it gets even more hectic yeah. on Airport Boulevard. See, I love my commute uh, to and from work every day because uh, I leave probably around 6 o'clock and I'm headed home by 3.30, so I miss all the traffic. Uh, that's good, isn't it? It is good. I used to I do that it. for years on morning radio. Uh, I see Marion Dorgan. Hello, Marion. Uh, Bamba Big Man, of course. Becky Lockwood. No Nor tides. Norman Richardson. <laughs> Hello, Norm. Uh, I can't look at the previous comments because I'm not on. Uh, see, I've got a problem. I've forgotten. I forgot my uh, password. Uh oh. Hey, that's the way it is. Has that ever happened to you? Oh man. Uh, yeah. I just my phone just updated and it wants me to uh, 
put all my passwords in this app, but I'm refusing to do that because I do have another way to remember them. So, yes, sir, it has happened to me. All right, let's see. I think I may have remembered it. We'll see if it lets me in. Going to be back on the radio here in about two minutes. Ah, that was not correct. And I know Miss Snake Trapper is watching, and she uh, texted me and asked me, did I remember to vacuum before I left? She, wait now, wait a minute. You admit? <laughs> why are you admitting this? You're, hey. you're telling everybody this, Uncle Henry. Uh, I would do whatever she tells me to do. <laughs> well, that's look. That's good, but do you need to? Do you need to be telling this? Uh, I just don't. Uh, she don't like to be told no, <laughs> and I don't either. <laughs> All right. So I will vacuum when I get home, honey. <laughs> wow. What? Well, I'll say this. I've been to Snake Trapper's house. Very clean. You know, uh, she knows you mentioned that on the radio, too. And she said, Uncle Henry's going to think that you do all the work. But uh, she does the majority of it a lot more. Well, I noticed that one of the things I admired about your home. Well, thank you. Is that it is not, I would say it is not cluttered with a bunch of knickknacks. Every surface doesn't have something on it. It It has a more minimalist uh, d- design rather than people that just fill every surface with something. Uh, yeah, neither one of us like a lot of clutter. I mean, uh, we probably uh, would need an interior decorator to come in and kind of help us out a little bit on maybe some uh, picture or some artwork or stuff like that. But, yeah, we neither one of us likes clutter. All right. All right, we are going to uh, be back on the radio here in less than 30 seconds. Illustration. This report is sponsored by Blindster.com. Hi, I'm Kyle at Blindster.com. Blindster is a family-run business that began in 2010, and we've sold millions of custom blinds, shades, and shutters and received over 100,000 five-star reviews. Don't hire an expensive pro. Do it yourself and save big at Blindster.com. This is the Uncle Henry Show on News Radio 710 WNTM. Uncle Henry's show, News Radio 710 WNTM. I want to apologize for the bumper music. Now, during the the commercial break, I got so involved in discussions with, with Snake Trapper. Now, there we go. Here's some good bumper music. <laughs> Uncle Henry's show. Now it can continue here. It is Possum Day on the Uncle Henry show. We're talking about possums with Snake Trapper. I got callers lined up. 251-479-2723. That's 251-479-2723. Before I go to the call- callers, hang on. I'm going to get to you. Snake Trapper, why? Why do you care? You're driving down the road and you see possums that have been slain on the side of the road. Why do you care? Why Why do you care when you see roadkill of possums? Why does that upset you? Uh, Uncle Henry, uh, possums are North America's only marsupial. There are three continents in this world that does not even have marsupials or marsupials in their fossil records. And there are probably continents that uh, you would think would have them. Uh, Africa does not have marsupials, uh, Asia or Europe. Uh, Australia, the, they consider it as the land down under, but it is the land of marsupials. So, uh, Well, kangaroo? Uh, yes, sir, kangaroo is a marsupial. Okay. What, are, what other marsupials are down there? Uh, there's wallabies, wombats, uh, dunarts, uh, koalas. Do you know what they taste like? <laughs> uh, no, sir, I do not. I have never eaten a possum. That's probably hard for Really? Uh, yes, You've sir. never eaten a possum? Uncle Henry, I never have, and I don't believe I ever will. Now, I do know there are people that, 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 acquire the, that love to uh, eat the possums, uh, man, but uh, no, sir, I just... Uh, You'd probably catch me eating no nasty chicken before you would a possum. Okay, <laughs> all right. But what, so you care about possums because you feel like that they are precious on our continent and on our planet. Do they do anything good for uh, us? Oh uh, yes, sir. They are. They're actually good for the environment. They, uh, you know, they'll eat any kind of roadkill. Uh, they're they'll eat anything. They're omnivores. Uh, herbivores and carnivores. I mean, they they cover all three of the categories of what they'll eat, uh, and we're, we're very fortunate to have them because a uh, lot of people don't know this, but a possum 
a gestation period from time it conceives is only 10 days. And in that and in that 10 days, it gives birth to a very undeveloped, uh, about the size of a bumblebee, uh, young. And that baby possum has to make it to its mother's pouch unassisted or it will not survive. And once it gets in the pouch, it'll connect itself to a uh, what they call a teat. And then it'll remain there for about another three months before it decides to come out of the pouch. But so, so what you're telling us is the unassuming, shy possum has to really, uh, it, it really has to fight for its survival as a tiny little possum. Uh, yes, sir. From day one, it does. And uh, it, it's, it just amazes me that they even exist. I mean, how does that little bitty undeveloped possum the size of a bumblebee know where to go and what to do? Uh, I, I truly believe that they could be probably wiped off the earth in just a matter of three or four bad years. Because the lifespan on them isn't pr- probably about three or four years anyway. I can t- See, he's thought this through. <laughs> Snake Trapper, not surprised by this line of questioning. He's thought it through and has some very detailed explanations. Uh, before we go any further on the possum, the phone lines, we have callers. Hello, caller. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're live on the Uncle Henry Show with Snake Trapper. Well, sir, thank you for having me on. Uh, my, my name's Billy John Bunkley. Okay. And uh, How you doing, Billy? I, I, hear y'all, I hear y'all talking about uh, possums, but uh, I heard you have a, a uh, what they consider a reptilian expert named yeah. the Snake Trapper. On that there? is, yes, I believe we've established that. Snake Trapper is here talking about possums. Yes, and he is a reptilian well, expert. Well, sir, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask him a question. Go, please do. Well, uh, I got a camp in Marengo County, and I run across this critter the other day. Some folks call them snakes, but I just always call them Johnny No Shoulders because he ain't got no shoulders. And uh, this was a weird one because he was kind of bluish green, and he had a white mouth and, and teeth. But I guess some people call them fangs. And uh but he had a rattle on his tail like a, a baby rattle and I ain't I, I'm just trying to figure out what I seen. Uh when you uh uh did you try to touch this thing? I, I kinda well, like I said, I'm kinda worried about them old Johnny No shoulder. We don't get along real well. Uh do do you know if uh when it spotted you if it kinda balled up in a ball? Yeah, he kind of did. He, I'm, a little, I'm a little bigger feller than he is, so I guess I kind of scared him. Well, whatever you do, do not touch that thing. <laughs> well, I don't think you got to really worry about that, but uh, uh, is there a reason why? Uh, yeah, does it, uh, uh, is it mostly neck, like uh, under its head from all the way to its tail? Is it all neck? <laughs> yep, yeah, it's all neck. You ain't got no shoulders. Okay, man. Well, that thing, uh, you just need to stay away from it. I call them a two-step. If that thing, if that thing bites you, you're not going to make it but two steps, brother. So stay away from it. Well, I don't think you I, – I, I appreciate the info. I, I got on the ringy ding the other day and called my buddy Johnny T, and he had absolutely no clue what I was talking about. I'll tell you what, if, if, you, can, if you can catch that thing, man, and, and look me up, I'd, I'd, show like to, uh, I'd show like to make a little video with it. Well, I'll have to get Johnny T involved because I ain't touching no Johnny No Shoulders. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, I appreciate you uh, calling in and telling me about it. And uh, okay, well, I, I appreciate it too. Uh, I, I I do have two possums as pets, just so y'all know. I got uh, Pearl and Junior, so I, got, I guess I got to go out here and take care of them real quick and feed them. All but, right. Well, very good. Hey, how long have you had your possums? Uh, actually, uh, found them on the side of the road. Their mama, hate, hate to say it, got runned over. And, uh, right. I, I brought them home and nursed them and everything. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, that, uh, I've had them probably, probably about four years. They probably better, better pet than any dog I've ever had. They follow you around like a youngie. You know, believe it or not, uh, they are more intelligent than a dog. Uh, they rate right up there, uh, with the, with the, uh, pig as far as intelligence. So, how do we uh, know that? Uh, Uncle Henry, uh, they there's people that's done studies on them. They are definitely more intelligent than a dog. And uh, I want to ask you too, uh, when, when you got them out and they ran, did they do like a cat and just brush herself up up against your leg like they're trying to give you love? They are just they just aggravate you to death. But you just gotta love them. They 
They just uh, they sweetest little old things. And like you said earlier, they'll show you who's boss with the most gnarly teeth, but but they didn't, they don't mean no harm. No, they do not. Uh, they are very non comfortable uh, creatures. You know, they they really love to get along with things. All right, well, sir, thank you very much for your phone call. Thank you, sir, for having me. All right, there he goes. I don't I don't know a lot about that guy. Do you know that guy? Uh, he sounds familiar. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he w- that would be. How would I imagine if if Jerry Clower were alive and addicted to Xanax? That would be similar to Jerry Clower on Xanax. You know, if it's the fella that I think it was, yes. he, is, he is a Jerry Clower on Xanax. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> so you so you pictured him just right. If that's the fella I think it is. All right. Well, there's more to come. We got a lot more possum talking to do. During this possum hour here on the Uncle Henry Show with Snake Trapper, phone lines open for you at 251-479-2723. Thank you for being here talking possums with us. Happy Possum Day! Happy Possum Day! Happy Possum Day! 710 Time Saver Traffic from the Main Street Flooring and Design Traffic Center. Very slow going on I-10 West. Watch for an accident in the left lane between McDonald Road and Grand Bay Wilmer Road. Crews are still on the scene of an accident on Highway 43 at Calvert. All right, we are in the break. Got a few minutes. Snake Trapper, if you need to go to the restroom or something, you can run down the hallway. Oh, I'm fine. I'm clean. I like hearing that. I like hearing that you have (laughs) self-control. And I appreciate everybody looking in on Facebook. You have... uh, um, how do you celebrate Thanksgiving, Snake Trapper? Um, oh, Henry, every year for the last 40 years, 38 years, I, I we all gather in Stockton, Alabama at my brother-in-law's uh, place. Uh, they host the Thanksgiving dinner, and we always host the uh, Christmas dinner at our place. Uh, and I make the potato salad and the uh, deviled eggs every year. Now, you you don't use that recipe that you used on me. Uh, a whole lot less onions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. I, you know, I, I I just wasn't used to making one uh, that small, Uncle Henry, so it kind of threw me off on my uh, recipe a little bit. But, uh, yes, sir, with a little bit of toned down onions, it's a lot better. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I just, it took me until now to get my, I've tried every password and I'm finally in. <laughs> So I can see, now I can see Siva is watching, J.D. is watching. Thank you all for looking in. Uh, 67-year-old Chris of West Loxley, Alabama. Hello, Chris. Reagan girl is watching. Reagan girl, I love her voice, man. She she has a radio voice, Uncle Henry. I do believe. Brittany Milligan Edwards. That would be my daughter. Hello, Brittany. That that girl can cook, too. Well, you didn't, uh, you didn't taste her cooking at the cooking show what did she cook did she make that potato salad no sir she, who, uh, who made the pota- the competing potato salad uh that was the potato lady emily okay yeah emily okay yeah. now uh rick henry really loved her uh she did a mahi recipe i i did uh i did a blackened fish recipe and she did a, a mahi on a bed of rice and uh, rick henry really enjoyed it he's polite oh rick henry is a fine he's, he was probably being polite to her uh, let's see, uh, Tracy Moscalo, thank you for looking in. So you think he may have just shifted I'm not. Her, I'm uh, just saying he's a polite person. <laughs> Sharon of Fairhope is watching. Well, you think he would have thrown a vote toward his old buddy, the old snake trapper, Uncle Andy? <laughs> well, he might be uh, chivalrous and, w- and wanted to help the lady yeah. with, with uh, winning. She needed help because I smoked her with my uh, blackened fish. <laughs> All right, now, 67-year-old Chris asking me if I'm going to be here working on Thanksgiving. No, I will not be here working on Thanksgiving, 67-year-old Chris. But thank you for asking. You know, I also did a uh, gravy recipe against my daughter, which I thought she should have won. I was doing my grandma's uh, tomato gravy. Yeah. And it is hard to beat. I did it uh, over a biscuit with egg and bacon with the gravy top that and it was it was really good but man her sausage uh gravy that she come up with Brittany, you should have won that one <laughs> well there are future cook-offs i'm sure now let's see um what what 
I don't want to waste. I, I want to make sure that I don't uh, ask you good possum questions on Facebook and the radio listener uh, doesn't get to hear the wonderful possum answers. But I, I, wonder, I do want to ask you this. Your Thanksgiving meal, do you ever eat anything interesting like snake for Thanksgiving? Uncle Henry, that's a bad time of year to try to get one. Uh, no, we do not. Uh, unfortunately, all the people I do have Thanksgiving dinner with, they're not into eating turtles or snakes or neutron or nothing like that. But uh, no, sir, I, I, you know, if, if, if I had a about a six-foot python or something, I would probably really love to take it. But, you know. A six-foot python, would that be the right size for Thanksgiving? Uh, yes, sir. It would need to at least be around six foot. Now, a rattlesnake, you could probably do a four-foot one, you know, because they're short and stout. And so, and, okay. And as the uh, cottonmouth, same way. But, uh, man, it's, it's rare that you catch one big enough that you can really do something with because the smaller they are, the more bones it seems like they have. Okay. All right. See, I ne- that is something I've never had to worry about is, is trying to uh, clean a snake. But if anybody out there in Radio Land's got one that's done growed out of control and they, you know, just want to discard it, uh, definitely do not turn it loose. Uh, it, it, they are they are fine to eat. So if they want to give it to me, I'll, there's a lot of I'll do, are, are there a lot of people out here that own snakes? Uh, there's there's a there's a definitely a, a crowd out there for uh, snakes. Uh, I don't own one. Don't tend intend to. But a lot of people you don't do want to own one. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. I think they belong in the wild. Now, see, this is good. This is good. Uh, I like this snake trapper. <laughs> I like the fact that you don't want, even though you advocate for not killing them, you don't want to live with them in your house, which is good. All right, stand by. Here we go. And it's for your roles fast. So for any kind of office, I'm really going places in my office. Count on ZipRecruiter to find the right candidates for it. Try ZipRecruiter for free today at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. This is News Radio 710 WNTM. Uncle Henry Show, News Radio 710 WNTM. Here with the Snake Trapper live in studio talking about possums. The reason we're talking about possums is for uh, several months, Snake Trapper was leaving me messages where he was very worried about possums being left on the side of the road dead from as roadkill. You were real, and you t- you told us in the last segment that you feel like possums could go extinct because of their life cycle. How how do possums fare here? Uh. I do know that the uh, population is being decimated by uh, uh, vehicles on the road. Uh, I would love to see a couple of uh, possum crossings put up. Snow Road would be a good place. Tanner, are you, po- now are you being serious? Uh, yes, sir. Being dead serious, Uncle Henry. How would, now, what would you do? How, how, what is a possum crossing? How, how would the possum know to cross there? Well, they wouldn't know to cross there. It would be for the driver to be aware that possums are crossing there because... Uh, Man, you could ride down Snow Road right now between Airport and Tanner Williams, and you will see four possum there. And, uh, you know, the scavengers, you know, coyotes, whatever, will clean them up or after a few days. Even the uh, Alabama black buzzard. But after a few days, you'll see three more. So they have been um, decimated. I want to thank uh, KP of ShirtButter.com. He designed a special uh, Save the Opossums logo for the uncle henry show today you can see it on the official uncle henry show facebook video of the program uh kp actually created the possum logo probably back in 2009 and it's something that is just it's been in the arsenal ready to deploy to help save possums and i just didn't realize possums needed as much help as you say they do yes sir Uh, kp must realize they in trouble and, and do need help uh you know uh, like I mentioned earlier, they are our only um, marsupial in this uh, part of the world. So we need to do everything we can to try to give them a hand, help them out. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, Australia's many marsupials. You know, they had uh, they had a marsupial that passed that, that went extinct 
Uh, 25,000 years ago, Uncle Henry, it was called the uh, dip, Diprodon. It was a uh, marsupial almost the size of an elephant that weighs up to 7,700 pounds. Do all marsupials have pouches? Uh, yes, sir, they do. So this was a giant, there would have been a giant pouch there. It would have been a huge pouch. And I mean, we, could, is there any way that we could like uh, revive the species, you know, get, get something? and Because uh, they're trying to bring back the woolly mammoth. Think how practical it would be if we could get these big pouches. <laughs> I mean, seriously, we yeah. could we could we could raise these animals, and if we wanted to, we could get in the pouch. I'm sure they could probably find a frozen one in in Antarctic, like they uh, have with the megalodon. Uh, yeah, there has been marsupial fossils found there. So at one time, we do know that was a uh, land of marsupials, also. Uh, All right, let's. Hey, we got somebody that's been waiting on the phone here. Hello, caller. Hey, Uncle Henry, how you doing? Doing good. You are live on the radio. Navco Bill here. Hey, Navco Bill. How you doing, brother? Hey, Snake Trapper. How you doing, buddy? I love your calls, man, when you call in and everything. And I think we're about 98, 99% on the same page. Thank you, sir. But uh, I raise chickens, and I don't like possums. However, however, I will say, when they're uh, in the area, I do use have heart traps. I do relocate them, and they become Tillman Corner uh, possums, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but I would also say that uh, I get about eight raccoons to maybe every two possums. <laughs> yes, sir. But down down here around Dog River, they I, I don't see them. I've seen more uh, raccoon carcasses on the road than I have. I really haven't seen any possums on the roadside, but uh, they seem to be thriving in Midtown too. Uh, oh yeah, I, hey, I see both in Midtown. I see raccoons constantly, and um, in my current location in Midtown, at least one possum uh, on the fence, uh, unconcerned with my dogs. Uh, the, the, uh, the 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 possum definitely will uh, will not harm your dogs. Right, of course. Now the, the raccoon will. Uh, yeah, you know if the dog's trying to eat, and the raccoon is too, he'll he'll actually uh, he'll actually attack the dog. Uh, dogs know to stay away from them, but uh, the the pot, the possum you would not have to worry about at all. Uh, but anywhere you have uh, creeks or streams or swamp swamp areas, uh, you're going to have raccoons. Uh, you know they they like to to wet their food. So uh, if if you live around a low lying area, you will definitely have raccoons and possums. So yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and on a slightly different topic. Um, I have this voice analyzing software, and it's old. I mean, you know, and uh, I took samples of uh, Al, um, the Angry Leftist, uh, LD, uh, you, and I ran them all through my voice analytics software, and it seems like the Bill Clinton caller, it was 0% chance it was LD, the Angry Leftist, or Al, or even Cliff, but uh, you came up as a 96.1% match. Wow. Huh. How about that? Yeah. I that's... need this software. <laughs> I <laughs> need this software. Yeah, that's uh, that's neat that uh, the, the, the fella sounds like me. Well, I'll be dang. Well, hey, uh, Navco Bill, thank you so much for your phone call. Thank you for uh, telling us about your raccoons and your possums. Have a good night and a good weekend, y'all. You too. Thank you good so much. Good to hear much. from you, Bill. For listening, I uh, love that you're listening to the show. Hello, caller. Hey, how you doing, Uncle Henry? Doing good. You are live on the radio with Snake Trapper. Man, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I called last night about the uh, the uh, the neutral rat thing, and I, I just want a professional to uh, to back me up on the fact that I'm not crazy. Uh, you are definitely not crazy. Uh, the neutral rat was introduced in the swamps of Louisiana around the 1930. Uh, now, I'm not sure of the, the person that uh, you're claiming uh, brought them here, but uh, yes, sir, uh, you are 100% correct. And they were brought here for the fur trade. Hey, I am sorry to cut you short, sir, but Shelby from 95 KSJ has just come into the studio. Please get on that microphone there. Yes, sir. Do you How have you doing, a, a, a I told her she was do, doing a possum show. Do you have a possum story to tell? Um, yeah. Hang on. i got to turn up the... Uh... Oh, hi. I can hear myself. I do, and I was trying to remember it, Uncle Henry. 
And now that I have my milestone birthday, I can't remember anything. But happy birthday to Shelby, by the way. Thank you very much. And hello. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, So a long time ago when I lived in Midtown. There were a lot of gigantic possums. I don't know if that's still the case. Are they still in yeah, Midtown? Oh yeah, the big, absolutely. The big, big ones? I don't know how big they are, but there's, I've seen them. They was, get about 12, 14 pounds. This one looked like about 20. Oh, my goodness. And, it was, well. and this is when uh, the firemen and I were brand new. And so I remember, I, I thought they were kind of cute. I'm like, oh, they're like big mice. Well, then this one started hissing at my, we had just adopted some stray cats. And they were hissing at my cats. My outside cats, and I was like, "This is not good." And then they kept making they then they were making like even like more of a noise, almost like a noise on top of the hissing. I'm like, "Okay." And I said, "Firemen, please go out and take you know just get rid of these animals. You know what can we do?" And I said, "Let's talk about how to do this safely." Yeah. Well, next thing I know, I'm hearing whap whap bam bam bam. I'm like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> He's like trying to chase this animal with a um, with a broom. I'm like, "That's not what I meant. I want to I want to get him out of there safely. Don't try to hit the animal." But he he did not uh, get around to. I mean, it scared scared it where it didn't come back though. Okay, so so you sent a a first responder. <laughs> you sent a first responder yes. out with a broom. I did. To attack possums. Well, I didn't know he was going to do all that. I thought he was just going to make some racket, which he did. Uh-huh. But he was trying to aim for the the uh, said uh, giant rat. Well, you know, possum. Snake Trapper told us in the first segment of the show that you're supposed to always do what your wife tells you. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man. Yeah. Smart man. <laughs> well, Shelby, thank you for telling us your thank story you. about thank possums you. in Midtown. Thank you for letting me come in. And of Ms. course. Shelby, you would not have to worry about that possum harming your cats. They'll get along with them. All right, we are on a break. Back with more. We have our final moments with the snake trapper. Happy birthday again to Shelby Mitchell. Thank you. Of 95KSJ. We send money. Part of her birthday was an appearance on this show. Thank you. Yeah, happy birthday, Miss Shelby. Is that my gift? Okay, thank you. <laughs> and we'll be right back after the break with more Snake Trapper and Possums. 710 Time Saver Traffic from the Dean McCrary Kia Traffic Center. All right, and we are on Facebook. Shelby, thank you for coming in. How was your, uh, b- before you re- run out, you you went on vacation to celebrate your birthday where in the Carolinas? I did. Went to the Outer Banks, and if anybody ever watched the show Outer Banks, that's yeah. kind of where we went. Uh, I was looking for Blackbeard and Treasure and John B. I didn't find all the above, but we found Adventure because it was $40, uh, $40, 40 degrees for a low and I didn't realize this was going to happen. We brought bathing suits, and we were freezing. We had to go buy a whole new wardrobe. But aside from that, it was fun. It was just an island you had to get to by ferry. It reminded me of Dolphin Island, except um, a little bit nicer, you know, like like a little little more money, but not too much more. So bougier would be the slang term. <laughs> Is yeah. that right? Bougier yeah. than Dolphin Island? Bougier, yes, Dolphin sir. Island is yes, magnificent. Sir. We love Dolphin Island. I love the island. there ain't nothing bougie about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. This was bougie, and it was fun, but um, but it was adventure. We we had to, uh, yeah, we had to go buy a whole new wardrobe, and then we just ate and drank like heathens. It was fantastic. All right, well, glad that you had a wonderful time. Thank you. On your vacation. Thank so, you very much. So no finding Blackbeard's treasure, huh? We found Blackbeard where he might be buried. Okay. That was interesting to to hear about. And there were like some some pirate type people I could see might might pillage, but um, <laughs> no but, treasure. I was looking for the treasure. I did not find the treasure. They claim his treasure could be upwards of a billion dollars. It's all through scattered throughout the ocean, and I need to uh, get yeah. my diving uh, certification again so I can go back. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll let you know when that happens. Well, if you find it, I'll remember the old snake trapper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the question is, snake trapper, what have you done for me? That's the question. Uh, I'm going to come get that possum. <laughs> <laughs> he before, gone. Before he eats your cat. He long gone. This <laughs> he is long a long gone. We live in the country now, and there are a lot of possums where we live now. Have, well, you, seen, what, have you seen just about anything? Because Shelby, yes. there's, a, there's a big community-type lake. Yeah, that must attract all kind of wildlife. Well, and we back up to a uh, like wildlands, like official, and we've seen bobcat, we've seen fox, we've seen possum, we've seen armadillos. Yeah, <laughs> um, possible gators. I haven't seen a gator in my lake, but in a lake that's down the way, they saw a little mm-hmm. baby one. So it's uh, pretty exciting. Well, uh, when he went out with the broom uh, <laughs> after the possum, yeah. uh, do you know if it if it went uh, if it went in the coma and played what they call possum? You know, I heard about that. No, it ran. It okay. ran away. No. Yeah. 
You know, you can go out there and just holler at them, and they'll take off. Hey. Okay, but I have some uh, very good information about the possum. What, when it, what do you say to the possum when you holler at him? Be like, get out of here. They do not like uh, just about any kind of holler. They do not like loud music. They do not like anything loud. Oh. Uh, he was probably just looking for shelter. You know, they don't even build their own shelter. They'll they'll lazy get under somebody's de- under a desk or a deck <laughs> or porch. Mm-hmm. Or they something. they were definitely under the deck. So yeah, uh, they were just looking for shelter. Yeah. Well. Bye. Well, I, I, I've told you the story. I've told the story on the air about my. I had a my dog got a possum, and I thought it had killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was but playing possum. It was playing possum. They're good at that. Yes. Well, it's it's Uncle Henry. If you want to wait for that, to we go want to wait for the. We're going to oh, be yes, back sir. on the air in ninety okay. seconds. And I got to go. That's something that I a lot of people don't realize about. Thank it. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Snake Trapper. Miss Shelby, it was so great meeting you. I brought y'all a box of tissues. Oh, thank you. We need it. Got sad about we need it. Thank yes. you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. There she goes. And here we are. Going to be back on the radio in about one minute. And let's see. Is it also... Is it also um, Reagan girl's birthday? Ah, uh, it is. It is? I wished her a happy birthday on Facebook. Oh, happy I birthday, to... Reagan girl. Uh, ha- happy birthday. Happy birthday to, to you. Reagan girl. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, back on in about 30 seconds. After I overpaid for new blinds, I researched the industry, hired my mom, and 14 years later, we're one of the largest retailers of custom blinds in the U.S. Don't pay too much for new blinds. Go to Blindster.com. What's happening? While I conceive this... USA! down the temperature the day's news we accept the choice is on the country made 710 wntm available everywhere with the iheart radio app now number one for podcasting this is news radio 710 wntm and iheart radio station uncle henry show it is 5 50 we have news headlines coming up in 10 minutes. Snake Trapper is here. We've been talking about possums. We have a caller. Hello, caller. Hey, Uncle. It's Pat Nelly. Pat Nelly, you are live on the radio with Snake Trapper. How you doing, my friend, hey, Pat? Snake Trapper. How you doing, brother? What's up? Oh, man, you got I'm doing it, man. Good. Yes, sir. Man, hey, uh, y'all should have had a two hour show. Well, this just you means we have to two or three hours. We might have to do this again right before the end of the year. <laughs> That'd be great, and, and expand it beyond possums to raccoons and other creatures. Oh, I could I could talk about raccoons too because we we uh, we found one in our backyard during the summer, a little baby, cutest thing in the world. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Whatever happened? Yeah. Well, we found somebody that. Uh, rescues them, rehabs them over on the Mississippi coast because they're actually illegal to have in your possession in the state of Alabama. Yes, sir, okay. they are. That's what got Peanut the squirrel killed. <laughs> the guy yeah. had a, also yeah. had a coon that, that they euthanized. Well, you remember uh, that raccoon I was trying to get rid of, Snake Trevor. I think your niece was going to try to help me or something. And- uh, we weren't uh, able to get together on that. But yeah, I called it- with some bad news, Snake Trapper. Uh-oh. What is yeah, it, man? You've seen my you've seen my videos of my uh my possum, right? Sweet, uh, sweet possum. Oh. I, I don't I don't believe Listen. it. You're talking about the one with the uh the mother possum that had the eleven babies hooked to her? I think that no. Okay. She didn't have that many, but I've made a lot of videos of her. But anyway, <laughs> she's always terrorizing my dogs, but I was pulling out of the driveway today and there she was. She was oh. roadkill. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I was broken hearted. It is why you know uh, I'm not going to say where Pantanelli lives, but right in the right in the the middle. Of, I mean, there's so much traffic around where you live, and yeah, still possums right. running around. <laughs> possums and raccoons, and mm-hmm. squirrels. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was getting. They've actually made it this far, believe it or not. Yeah, I was getting your video mixed up uh, with Ben Griffith. He uh, he tagged me in a video where. Uh, 
I, I posted it, you know, saying that I was going to be here on the show today talking about possums, and it's a, mm-hmm. it's, it's a female possum, and she's got about 11 babies hooked on her. Uh, you know, just, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. But yeah, so now, that's the video. These are actual videos of mine that I took in my backyard. Oh, okay. So, I have to go anyway. check that out. I, I don't believe I've seen that one yet. I'll tag you in it. Well, it's a great show. I love talking about possums and raccoons, and I wish I could be there in the studio talking with y'all about it. But I'm not. I'm here sitting on my lazy boy. That's true. Well, one day we can make that dream come true. Choo choo, man. I'd, I'd enjoy that. Hey, uh, who's going to win this weekend? Alabama and I guess whoever else wins. <laughs> Definitely Bama. <laughs> All right, guys. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, roll. Thank you, Pat and Ellie. And we are gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to be talking some uh, college football with Charlie Harrison. Right. Coming up right after the top of the hour, Charlie Harrison, who writes for BamaHammer.com. So before we run out of time, uh, playing possum. Uh, I told you during the commercial break, uh, Snake Trapper, that my dog a few years ago caught a possum and brought it into the yard in Midtown Mobile, and I thought the possum, I thought the possum was dead. Got the possum away from my dog, and uh, later found the possum was alive and well and had been playing dead. <laughs> Do, can you tell me anything about that? Uh, yes, sir, Uncle Henry. Uh, the, when when a possum does that, it is not playing dead. Uh, that 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 possum actually goes into a self induced coma. If you would have took a lighter and stuck it to his foot or stuck a pin in it, uh, it would not have felt a thing. It would not have reacted. It would not have moved. Uh, the 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 possum basically goes anytime it gets in deep distress like that. It it puts itself in a self induced coma. And it will remain like that till there's about 15 or 20 minutes of calmness around it. And then its brain will, will release a, a type of hormone that will let him come back to and then carry on about his life. But that's, that's no act. That's oh, a- see, now I didn't, I'd never done the research on that. I, and I'll tell you, I, I was convinced it was dead. I, I was for sure that this possum was dead. And I was trying to figure out where am I going to bury the possum. <laughs> and uh, didn't have to. Well, didn't that- have to bury it. There, there is a way to tell a difference when one's actually in the coma or if it's dead. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, for one, when he's in the coma, he will be laying on his side with his uh, mouth open. Okay. Now, if he's laying there any other way with his mouth closed, there's a good chance he, he is dead. Well, is for, dead. I couldn't have used that because the dog. I, I found the possum in my dog's mouth, so I had to get it was it was not laying of its own accord on its side or any way. Uh, look, we're almost out of time here. Uh, if people want to find more of you, they should just go on Facebook and look up Snake Trapper. Uh, yes, sir. You can uh, go to Facebook and uh, type in Snake Trapper with a capital T and capital S. And to know that I'm it's the right one, uh, I'm the one with the uh, pink snake emoji uh, on my cover page. Why so, did you pick a pink snake emoji? Uh, Uncle Henry, I, my logo has always been the green one, and the wife had me make her one with the pink snake, and man, that one was more popular than the green one. So, all right, she's a genius. <laughs> so the answer is your wife told you to use the pink logo, and you do what your wife tells you. Do what she tells you. You'll be married for thirty nine years. Look for Snake Trap on Facebook, and it's two words: Snake Trapper. Snake Trevor, thank you. It was a lot of fun. Uncle Henry, I really enjoyed it, man. And there's still a lot we did not learn today. So. That is true. I, there's Every day I learn less. All right. <laughs> crime Alert. I'm Nancy Grace. Breaking crime news now. Carlos Flores orders an Uber. He tells the driver he's upset. His friend hasn't paid him back the 100 bucks he loaned him. Flores tells the driver he has a laundry detergent container full of gasoline, a match, and a knife, and plans to burn the friend's home down as soon as they get there. Cops arrive just as Flores is about to light several trails of gas. Carlos Flores, charged with arson, making threats to kill, and ag assault. With this crime alert, I'm Nancy Grace. All right, out of time. Going to turn the video off, but there's more Uncle Henry show on News Radio 710 WNTM. Snake Trapper, thank you for coming in. Uncle Henry, I really thank you for having me. I, man, it's been a blast, and uh, I hope that something can come out of this. You know, I mean, like I said, if nothing else, a couple of uh, crossing signs. Or beware of signs or just anything. Yeah. All right. Well, Snake Trapper, thank you. And those on Facebook, thank you for watching. You're very kind to us. 
Uh, I will be back Monday uh, with more Uncle Henry's show.